Hello, this is Bo from WorkingHandsFree.com and today we are going to show you how to browse the web on the iPhone hands-free using voice control. We will show you some demos using the Safari app and the Chrome app. We will also explain different ways you can click on parts of web pages that do not appear to be clickable. As explained in earlier tutorials, first you need to turn on voice control in settings and then say wake up to ensure the microphone in the upper left hand corner is on. Go to sleep. Wake up. You can also say the show numbers continuously command to display the navigation numbers. Hide numbers. Show numbers continuously. Next, to open an app, say open in the name of the app. For example, open Safari. Here you can see most parts of the web page are clickable. Tap 11. Note that you can use the swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, and swipe right commands to scroll on web pages. Swipe up. Swipe down. Tap 5. Let's navigate to a part of the web page that is difficult to see where you might use the swipe left or swipe right command. Tap 11. Swipe up. Tap 16. Swipe up. Swipe up. Swipe up. Scroll down. Note that you can use the scroll up or scroll down or the swipe down and swipe up commands. The scroll up and scroll down commands are a bit faster. Here you can see we have some text on the screen, but it appears that we need to scroll to the right to be able to view everything. In this case, we can say swipe left, swipe left, swipe right. Great. Now we were able to see different parts of the screen that were not visible. To view different web pages you have open, click on the pages symbol in the lower right hand corner. If you don't see it available, like right now, just say swipe down. Swipe down. As you can see, the pages symbol in the lower right hand corner has now shown up, so you can tap on it. Tap 20. Now to open a fresh page you can tap on the plus symbol. Tap 6. To search for something, click on the address bar. For example, tap 2. Google.com. Tap Go. Now you can see we have gone to the Google homepage. If you want to click on the address bar again, you can see there are two little numbers, the number 2 and the number 3, in the upper left hand corner. The number two will open the reader settings, whereas the number three will click on the address bar. For example, tap two. Now you can see it is difficult to click on the address bar again. In this case, we can use the show grid command. Show grid seven, one, tap one. To click on the address bar correctly, you can tap on the number 3 here, which is the rightmost number in the upper left hand corner. Tap 3. Now we can see we are back at the address bar again. Next I'll show you what to do if sections of a web page do not have numbers showing up next to them, for example if they are unclickable. A common page you may visit that is difficult to navigate is Amazon.com. Tap 3. Amazon.com go to sleep. Note that there are different options to enter the search term. You can say tap go or you can say tap and then the name of the number next to the go icon. Tap go. Notice that sometimes it is difficult to tap the go symbol with your voice. So in that case you can use the number commands. Select all. Amazon.com Tap go. Amazon.com. Tap 43. 
As you could see, I was able to use the select all command to select the text and redo. For example, we can do that in Amazon here. Tap nine. Windows voice control software. Select all. Plantronics Voyager 5200. Tap search. Here we can see the search results. Swipe up. Let's say I want to click on the Voyager 5200. Tap 14. As you can see, you might have to navigate and try different numbers to click on it. Tap 4. You can use the show grid command in this case. Show grid 19. Tap 7. Swipe up. Now how do I choose between the different options here? We have headset and ear tip kit medium and we have single, but it looks like there might be other options that we can't see. How do we view these options? Well, we can use the swipe left and swipe right commands. Swipe left. Swipe right. Here we can see there were indeed different options and using the swipe left and swipe right commands worked great. However, what do we do if we navigated a different way? Scroll up. Scroll down. Swipe left. Now we can see that when we use the swipe left and swipe right commands, it does not navigate the way we wanted it to. How do we navigate in this case? Swipe left at five. In this case, we can actually see that we can say swipe left at, and then the name of the number where we want to swipe. For example, we can say swipe right at four. Note that sometimes you have to navigate in the web page differently. For example, swipe down. Swipe left at 15. Swipe right at 15. Swipe right at 14. Now you can see we are having some difficulties here. What do we do? Well, you can also say swipe left and swipe right with the grid command. For example, show grid. 44. Swipe right at two. Great, in this case, that actually worked even better when you say show grid, and then you can say swipe left or swipe right or swipe up or swipe down at, and then the number on the grid. Now let's say we wanted to go back a page in amazon.com. We would say the commands go back or go forward to navigate. For example, go back, go back. Go forward. Go forward. As you can see, sometimes this might not work, in which case you might have to click on the buttons on the lower left hand corner. Tap 27. As you can see, using the go back and go forward commands, as well as potentially using the lower left hand arrows, in the lower left hand corner, you can navigate different web pages. What if you want to search for a specific keyword on a web page? First, tap on the share or more symbol. Tap 38. Next, swipe up, swipe up. And next, click on find on page. Tap 18. Voyager. Tap search. Next, we can click the up and down arrows with our voice to search for different keywords on the page. For example, let's say we want to find the next instance of the word Voyager. Tap 34. Tap 34. Tap 34. Tap 34. Let's say we are having some difficulty with tapping this number. For example, it's not going through all the different options. We can again use the show grid command. Show grid. 
55. 3. Tap 7. Show grid. 55. 3. Tap 7. As you can see, sometimes when the other commands do not work, the show grid command drilling down to different sections of the grid can allow you to click on different sections that may not otherwise be able to be clicked with the other options, such as swiping or tapping different numbers. Go home. Now that we have shown you Safari, let's show you how to browse on Chrome. Note that other browser apps such as Microsoft Edge and Firefox work in a similar way. Open Chrome. Note that it's being a bit buggy. Maybe it's not recognizing the word that I'm saying. If you're ever having difficulty opening an app, just say tap and then the name of the number right nearby that app. For example, tap 10. As you can see, the interface for Chrome is nearly identical to Safari. You can click on the plus button to open a new page. You can click on the number 16 in the lower right hand corner to open different web pages that you might have open. And you can click on the 17 for more setting options. Go home. Thanks for your time in watching this video and make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials and demos. For example, we have tutorials on how to use different messaging apps such as Messages or Messenger. We also have tutorials on how to use the Gmail app more efficiently as well as how to use the Microsoft To Do app and the Calendar app on the iPhone. And we also have tutorials for much more.